Hello, I'm Chris Harvey. I'm a portrait and fashion photographer from the UK. So basically, uh, yesterday we did a shoot for a company called Nova London and they asked for it to be a, a little bit different from the previous shoots we've done. <clears throat> we went along and they sent me a lot of inspiration shots and stuff like that and then we kind of gathered on, we went on something like this. I hope you can see that okay. So it was like a textured background against a white background dish with the mirrors and stuff like that, with a white floor. This image is very textured and what they wanted is it to be quite clean. So we wanted like, we came up with the idea of just having a very textured wall and their ideas were marble. So I did a lot of research into marble, sent them a lot of links to different images and made a mood board and they selected one marble that was like the, the grand of grand, the luxury of luxury. And I looked everywhere to find a version of that marble and I came across a website that was um, printing them bespoke, but it came up to be like 500 quid for an eight foot by eight foot, which they couldn't really put into the budget and I didn't want them spending that much anyway on a background. I definitely didn't want to repo it in because it would look terrible and that would be a hell of a lot of work and repo on the side would have been a nightmare doing 24 hour days doing some retouching just on that and make it look realistic. So. I looked at some cheaper versions and the only cheaper version I could find was crap marble and other marble shots so I ended up coming up with the idea of just getting a um, slab of marble, the one they wanted, which is like a white, which you can see on the images, you'll see on the video as well, and it was like a white with big thick cracks and stuff like that so she wanted a mirrored image so what I did is bought a slab off eBay and then I took a picture with the Hasselblad H3D which is a 39 meg camera so it gave me a tip. If you don't have something like this, I bought this a while ago and I love it and I only get it out on special occasions sort of thing. But um, if you could still shoot on like a Canon, um, hire a Canon or you know, if anyone, if you know anybody who's got the Canon, like a decent meg camera, like 20 meg, you'd still be able to get it that size. I just use that for the detail. So we ended up getting the eight foot by eight foot shot and printing it. And then because it wasn't wallpaper, it's tricky to put up, which you'll see me and my assistant Manu trying to put it up for, it took, it took a few hours um, obviously because it's a time lapse, we com I compressed it down and compressed it down again so it wasn't too long. But the whole process of us doing that, printing it and then cutting it out and stuff is, is coming up in the video. Other than that we ended up on the shots that you'll see here, there's like a little mirror and uh, they wanted like a cubed mirror behind the figure so she could, you could see the back of it, it added an extra element in the shot kind of so it would contrast with the background so it wasn't too plain. In the back, the side wall, which you'll see on the images, is a white wall. I just made a, put a Colorama down, squared it off at the bottom, put like a, a Colorama box with some heavyweights on it so it was square, stapled it all to the side of the flats, and it made it clean. And then all I had to do in repo was just get rid of the, the tiny bit of shadow at the bottom. Simple, easy, effective, and cheap for the client, so we didn't have to spend extra money on that because you've always got a white Colorama hanging around. So now I'm hoping that you've yes. seen some of the videos of making that and uh, sadly we didn't do a making of building it and stuff like that, like pulling it up, but we did do a video of the finding the paper, getting it cut and then if you look on the blog there's some other sections in there where we had to slice it and you could see us cutting it all and stuff like that which is it's, it's interesting because there's a lot of in depth just to go for that one background. It wasn't big enough for the final shot so you'll see on the at the end of the video that there's a lot of repo exceptions in it and stuff like that but from that I hope you like the video and here it is. Everybody knows that it's a job Everybody knows how much it costs Raining in my sleep Oh, and she don't I speak, oh, bitch, you don't.
I want to say a big thank you to Mike for doing the video, it's just a spot on job and Manu for helping me out build the set, move the set, get it all set up and stuff like that. And then obviously Nova London Girls for just kind of letting me have creative control over it and challenges and stuff like that were thrown at me. An intense day, I was shaking at the end of it but it was great. And then obviously Jess for doing um, the makeup amazingly and just it's set this tiny bit of retouch that I had to do in it which was nothing at all really um, on the skin that is not on the background as you'll see but and Beth for being an absolute trooper there'll be another video coming up so soon soon after I've done this shoot tomorrow which it'll be great um, I'll link everything below please follow me and uh, we'll see where we can go from that thank you bye <laughs>